Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. Uh, as expected, because of the previous data mine, uh, we do have a small content preview in here. It's going to have that super bait banner, which is actually probably really high value for a lot of players. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I don't expect anything else to be in here. I mean, maybe the rise to the ranks for Valor Cup. Well, uh, news will be in here because that won't start for another. Actually, no, that'll start tomorrow probably too. So yeah, okay. So the the bait banner, and then the Valor Cup missions to get you up to platinum or something. That's the only thing I expect in here. Anything else? Cherry on top. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, yeah. There's the bait banner. New recruits and more coming. Five twenty seven Monday or Sunday for me. EX battle characters between July 2023 and January 2024. EX protection characters up to January 2024. So New Year's Blessing Xion will be the most recent EX protector. Still a very good protector for, you know, Valor Cup, a lot of Jubilee normal battles. Uh, oranges, unfortunately, are the most hated orb in the game, but she does have quite a bit of value in Valor Cup, if that's what you care about. If you already have the new Velzard, um, you know, not having Xion becomes a little bit less of an issue because Velzard and her can kind of go hand in hand. They do different things, yes, but you can get some equivalent damage out of them. I should probably do a test on that. Um, but EX battle characters between July 2023 and January 2024. So July of 2023. Where is that? So Summer Memories is, I think, the oldest that we're going to see. And then Other World Legends of so Vengeance will be here. Wielder of Magic will be here. Visions of Coleus will be here. Uh, Pretty Sparkle will not be here because they're collab. Christmas Shuna will be here because she's not technically a collab unit. So she'll be here by herself from the idol meta. And then we'll have New Year's Blessing. And then that's it because after that is Overlord, which ain't going to be here anyway because they're February. So... Um, overall, I mean, this banner does have a lot of value, especially with the drop rate still being the Super East Sky Rubbery 6% rate up. Uh, but we do have to keep in mind is that we literally have, this banner will drop tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Pacific time or whatever equivalent time zone you're in. Monday morning for me at 4 a.m., we will have the developer live stream showing off the next meta with Hinata's VA. So there's going to be like, what, a a nine hour gap between this banner dropping and the live stream going, you know, going up. And we find out the general kits for the new incoming characters. And this banner is here until the 10th or the 9th, technically. So we've got quite, a, you know, quite a ways for this banner to be here. And you don't have to summon on it immediately, right? You can wait for the live stream, see what that unit has. You can probably wait until the second banner for the next meta as well. Because that'll probably come out around the third, fourth or fifth, somewhere around there. And this will still be there. So you could you could take your time. And you could be like, do I like this incoming meta that Hinata is going to be part of? No. All right. A lot of these characters, you know, are still fairly good. New Year's Blessing is still a very solid team. Visions of Coleus being an anniversary team is very, very strong still for blue stacking. Wielder of Magic is another one of those funny orange metas. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but, you know, some of them do have their place. Vengeance is obviously still a Vengeance team, and that will clear almost everything in the game. And then Summer Memories is a little bit outdated, but still kind of fun. Uh, you know, Summer Millum, still one of, if not the best, um, for cost-wise, AoE DPS characters in Valor Cup. I still run her personally. I know there are other strategies with other AoE characters, you know, that's totally fine. But her being narc, dark, dark means that she's always type, at least type neutral against everybody, but never type disadvantage. And she's got really cheap, but pretty strong buffs still. So there is value across all of these metas that will be in this banner. So, you know, I won't really blame you if you actually want to summon on this. And it's not like a once per day multi, at least not what it looks like. So you could go ham on this if you want, because, you know, you've done your summons for the two and a half anniversary. You've pulled your, your Velzard, your guy, and your Milum. Hopefully not Remarune Hero. 
hopefully you listen to my advice on that. And now you're like, do I want some older characters that'll help me pad out my box? Or do I want the brand new meta? You know, whatever it may be, whether it be The Brides or Season 3. Who knows? It will not take long between this banner coming out and us finding out what the next banner is going to be. So really, really want to caution people against immediately summoning until you are 100% certain that you are, you know, in either side of the camp. Uh, there's going to be some packs in here. Okay, cool. There is a, ooh, a free choice ticket pack for an EX battle character. Okay, that'll that's going to be 80 bucks straight up. It's going to be 80 bucks. But if you can choose what EX character you want, like, ooh, I don't have Vengeance Raphael yet. Like, is Vengeance Raphael worth 80 bucks? Oof. <laughs> uh that's going to be up for you to decide, but Raphael is a very good character. If you're missing uh, Visions of Coleus Violet or Blanc or Jean, like, you could pick them up too. Uh, those are probably the only ones I really do. New Year's Blessing Rimuru, I, I could see people leaning that way as well. Uh, but again, this is an $80 pack. It's not cheap by any means, so just keep that in mind. But it is a free choice, so it's not like a random, oh, you have a one in what, 20% 20 chance of pulling the character you want? No, this is free choice, so you're good there. Uh, yep, Rise to the Ranks, Valor Cup campaign. As you can see, the ingots are now going to be a regular reward for Ranked Valor, so for all my guildmates, uh, you will do Ranked Valor Cup. I'm looking at you. I know who you are. Uh, and you will feed those ingots into the Union, <laughs> or else. And anything else in here? Nope, that's it. Okay. So, easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We only have a couple days until the meta switch is over, and after that, you know, we'll have the whole shift, and we'll have beatdowns and showcases to do. A as a reminder, um, starting on the 7th through the 10th, I will be out of state for a bachelor party in Las Vegas, so uh, the videos either were going to be, sh like, a little light or pre-recorded very, very early on. Kind of depends on what I would do. Might get some filler, like, chamber of memories kind of videos or something i don't know i've got the free play stages to do still you might get those suck it up <laughs> i'm not gonna be sober <laughs> uh but yeah bait banner definitely pretty good bait but again make your informed decision after the live stream monday morning or whatever time zone you happen to be on when that when that goes live i think i have it up right now yeah so Right here, live in 32 hours, May 27th at 4 a.m. Pacific time, Monday morning. Thank God it's the U.S. holiday, so I can go right back to bed after it's done and I get the video uploaded. And then the banner probably should not drop until the 28th. So there's going to be a full day in between us getting the information and then us summoning for this new Hanada, what I presume, whether she be battle or protector. I think most of the time they're battle units that they're bringing the VAs for. Could be wrong on that, though. Don't quote me. So, Season 3, probably more likely than Brides, but we don't yet have a Bride Hinata, so it could still go that way. Uh, but remember, this livestream is also going to be a combination of the anime, our game, and then the brand new Isekai Chronicles game. So, I don't know how much actual screen time Isekai Memories is going to get in this stream, because they already... Like, if it was just the anime in our game, it's like a 80-20 split. Now it's probably going to be like a 60-20-20 or something like that. So I don't know. Uh, but I will be live in my Discord when this is going live to react to the new meta. Hopefully it's good. Um, I don't know what kind of meta it's going to be. Like, we just we got a blue stacking meta a month ago. We're coming out of a green meta. We haven't had a true defense meta since Vengeance, which was back in September. Because I don't really count Pretty Sparkle. Because it's like defense and stacking at the same time. But they're never coming back anyway, so it's not really that important. Um, I mean... Defense blue meta? That'd be interesting, right? Sure. All the other defense metas have been green. So... I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, let me know your thoughts. Are you going to summon on this bait banner, you know, regardless? Are you going to hold off? Are you going to be, you know, all in on this Hanada because you really like Hanada? Let me know in the comments, but that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.